A member of the Smart Woodshop family, James Brown, contacted me with an idea he had for a panel lift to go on the Polk Smart Bench. So I asked him to send along a video. A picture's worth a thousand words, a video's worth a million words. I'm editing it now, it's what's going to follow in this video. James, along with uh, Kevin Criswell and David Reisinger with the Power Locks, part of the Smart Woodshop family that, that takes these uh, benches and designs and does amazing things with them, and I appreciate it. So enjoy what James has come up with. There are some sketch designs embedded in the video. I've put them there. They're JPEGs, so you'll need to pause and do a screen grab, and hopefully that'll be enough detail if you want to build one of these panel lifts for yourself. My first time ever making a video, so I don't know how it'll come out, but I uh, wanted to show you how this works and put out, uh, point out a, a few items about it. This is the panel lift that I said I wanted to design and make. And I think it works pretty effectively. So I'll just demonstrate that and then I'll show you how it attaches to the bench and a couple of the design features that I came up with. I'm just going to pick up a piece of plywood now. I don't have a full sheet. This is what I have left from the plywood I bought to design it, make this. And I have picking it up with my plywood carrier, bringing it over, dropping it on the carrier. I have a couple of finger grips on the bottom of this. I pick it up, a leg drops in place. I push it over onto my bench top, fold the leg up, and drop it down out of the way. I'll show you how it attaches to the bench and how easily it comes on and off. To remove this, all I have to do is pull out a piece over here, shift this over, and the whole thing comes off. And I can probably point out a few things here there's a little a hook on this, basically, that hooks into the outside of this cross piece here. And on this side, there's a little slide that catches it on this side. And the part that carries all the weight is this piece of uh, three-quarter plywood that fits very exactly within the space here. So a matter to put it in, Put it back on, all I do is pick this up, line this up, shift it over, push this in, and it's back on the bench. I think that concept for attaching things to the bench is really pretty effective. One other thing that I wanted to point out here is that this piece would shift around as I push plywood on. And yet it's a it's one of the pieces that I might cut across. So I didn't want any, any aluminum pegs in there, even the, the flush mount ones. So what I did is I laid out using the, uh, the drilling setup. I took the steel rule and drilled the six millimeter holes. And then I took a three quarter inch drill and drilled these out for three quarter. And the beauty of three quarter, when you put a three quarter inch dowel in here, and this lifts out really easily. And I didn't even glue these. I can just punch these in and out. I can put them where I want. When you go to put them back on, it's really easy. They just drop in, and it doesn't move. And I think there may be some real advantages to doing something like that on the pieces that we put on the deck. There's a couple little details here that I can point out. If I hold this up, It's just held on with hinges there, and hinges on the top, which is actually the bottom. And these little spacers keep this from being perfectly vertical. They hold this out at a slight angle so the plywood doesn't tip and start to try to fall off the rack. Gravity drop. So you pick this up, the leg falls down. You want to fold it up. You can reach in through the holes on either side, pick it up, don't have any plans per se for this. 
all I did is I made some design sketches of ideas, and then I came out here and I made it up. Uh, if it's something you're interested in, I could give you some measured, I could do a measured drawing, uh, but as I said, for this, I just worked off some design sketches and idea sketches. Hope this you, that you find this to be a useful gadget and that other people might enjoy it as well. Okay, so long now. Like James and Kevin and David and so many of the Smart Woodshop family that contact me with ideas, if you have an idea or something you've come up with that leverages the Paul Smart system, then send along a video. I'll take a look at it. And if it looks like something that would be good to share with the entire Smart Woodshop family, I'll help put the video together and get it out there just like this one. Thanks for dropping into the Smart Woodshop. You stay safe and have a great day.